Uh, it's the musical slaying, lynching, reaping, killing, annihilating, taking, juking, gamer. <laughs> Is that my new acronym? Team Tim Slurkatjuga. <laughs> That's great. Well, welcome everybody to some AI the Somnium Files. I am your host, the musical gamer, the Tim Slurkatjuga. <laughs> and we are. Uh, we are about to get started up in here, so we need to go save Iris. Iris has been captured by a uh, host of people. Host of people. We think they're working for Renju. Though Iris is still convinced they're, uh, Nizitlaws. Nizitlav? Nizitlaws? Nizitlav? We need a shotgun. Uh, well, Moma's got us covered. So Moma's here with us because, you know, he be thirsty. And he wants to help us save Iris. <laughs> He's brought his armored car. He's brought his rifle. He's ready to go. Uh, what did you want to ask, number one? The jackal who took Tessa. Pewter, right? Yeah, That's Pewter. Steel. I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? I told Momo about Renju and Pewter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. And he was. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris. Oh, hold on one second. I always forget to do this. I always forget to flip this horizontally. Oh, there we go. Your fishery warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Me too, Moma. Me too. He wants to see Iris's panties, but would gladly throw Date under the bus because Iris got offended. I know. It's like, why even ask at that point? All right, what else do you want to know? So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. That they do. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. And people? Are there people watching? Are flush with the water. Flush with the water? The only path to the van is down the front. Oh, do you mean everything's flooded? Uh, yeah, that might get in the way. We'll relay the information to MoMA. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. All right, let's take a quick summary before we go What's do something stupid. Uh, well... While I was coming with a plan, a car emerged from the darkness. Oh, excuse me? Should we swim? Swimming's an option. What the hell? Whose car? It was another van. Wait a minute. Is that the... That's the... Is that Oda? That's the Matsushita Diner van! We saw that- Yeah, look at it! Oh, and Mizuki, too. <laughs> Moma. Mizuki? <laughs> Ota? What are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? Wait, we did? I sent an aisle message to both of them. Oh, God damn it, Iva! Why? <sighs> hey, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? Commander... Oh, yeah, we're still talking about the World War III stuff. Promise me. I promise. We need Mizuki's buffness. Yes, we do. She's a swole child. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? <laughs> no, I am an AI. Oh, god damn it, Iba. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. It's clearly she knows what that is. Mizuki can be very helpful. Yeah, Mizuki's probably fine. Ota? Yeah, but what about Oda? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. Oh my god! Now that's cruel, even for me. <laughs> that's awful! Uh, Date? Who are the kids? <laughs> right, and Mama has no idea who these people are. Don't call me a kid. Who's the old man? I sighed and shook my head. I made the introductions quickly. Damn it, Hypa, they're children! Well, I mean, they want to get involved, but they're gonna get involved. So your sixth grade roommate and a niece who's trying to get his light novel published? <laughs> what good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Okay, look, look, Mizuki, at least he has a gun and an armored car. Short and scrawny. That's rich coming from you. Shut up! I'm not short. The Earth is just big. The Earth is that just big. Is 
<laughs> it's great. And you're short too. No way. This isn't even my final form. What? Okay, Frieza. I can get three times bigger than this. Excuse me? Liar. This went on for a bit. <clears throat> I finally got up, fed up, and shouted at them. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. <laughs> Wet. Sweat. ASET. Oh my Beeps. god. Upset. Regret. ASET. <laughs> Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASET. <sighs> Why are these people so simple? All right, let's work together and get our Tessa back. Can you riddle me yeah. this, Batman? This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah. No, nobody knows about Iba. Heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. Yeah. It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Clearly. It's almost terrifying how much control she has over these people. Explain the situation to Mizuki and Oda. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! Alright, that's Mizuki, something I'll be good at. You're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. <laughs> hey, Dante, what are you gonna have her do? Oh, just wait. She might not look it, but she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. You sure about this? Oh, <laughs> trust me. Yup. You should worry more about yourself, <clears throat> Moma. So, now you <laughs> She can ass. kick anyone's ass. That's great. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from hey, Stuart, welcome. and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. <laughs> yeah, what could possibly go We're wrong? Coming for you, Tessa. On three, one, two, three, go! And so Operation Iris Rescue has begun. I mean, 250 pounds, something pounds of force hitting a human body is not pretty. This is true. All right, let's go. Oda's the Oda's the getaway driver. This is not gonna end well. I've got the deja vu ready. Is that a tank? Is that a tank? Let's do this. Greetings. Oh, hey, Silent Snake. All right, here we go. Damn, there's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. If only you had a machine gun. Where's your to think of fucking guy's Gatling gun? Seriously, this is when we needed it. What are we gonna do, shoot the barrel? Shoot the barrel. Oh, hey, okay, I was doing some calculations. Let's do this. Let's get this done, Iva. We got this. She can see the future. Dante, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Don't act innocent. Of course. Last night, you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? On your left eye, Dante. Of course I would know. <laughs> Thought they're just going, ah, oh, shit. Hey, look, a red barrel in the video game. I wonder if it explodes. Yeah. No. no. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. He rolled the gotcha. He rolled the gotcha for this magazine. Okay. No, now I'm with him. He can't get rid of this. Iris. Good. 
<laughs> oh Hurry, god. Closing in. Dato, you're so whipped. Uh, uh, wait, can, can we... Iba, can you take like pictures, screenshots, something? He rolled the gotcha. <laughs> Universe. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. Believe me. Goodbye, porno mag. He's crying. <laughs> All right, quickly blow up the blow up the thing. <laughs> He's weeping. No time for crying. The drum contains flammable liquids. Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Oh, poor Dante. One day, sir, you will have your porn. We will make it so. Come on. Yeah! Shoot it! First quarter 2020, he rolled the gotcha. Can confirm we are perverts. <laughs> Alright, quick drive, buddy. Dire hit! Thank you for the follow. Well, we got closer, but I don't know what this is gonna do for us. There's still more of them. Man, no more oil drums to blow up. I'm at my limit here. Wait. Wait, what? Mizuki, no, 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 no. You're not going into a hail of bullets. You might be strong, you're right. still a human. Any ideas? Oh, cool. Okay. Let me see. There's our next ticket. We already see it dangling above him. Are you are you kidding me? Does he have another one in there? Dante, last night. You picked up something else, didn't you? <laughs> I told you, don't act innocent. Oh god. Oh no! Now you're a panty thief? I needed it as evidence. I needed it as evidence. Evidence for what? Just aim under the container. You have oh, got no. to be kidding me. Damn it, Tate! I was gonna give this to Reka as a gift. Someone else's underwear? All right, that's a little weird. Underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying in France. <laughs> that is not a saying. That is not true. <laughs> no, not the bra. I was gonna kill him in his sleep one day. <laughs> yeah, Raker from the Cabaret Club. Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? Go for it. Get it done. <laughs> Here we go. Goodbye. Fare thee well, Brazil. We knew thee well. This must be a gift from heaven. Uh huh. So wet. As wet as it gets. Okay there. So dirty. Excuse me? Shameless. Absolutely shameless. I wonder what must be running through Date's mind at this moment. Good. That went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. Moma not even wondering what the, he's doing with the brown panties. Shoot the cable. No, because Moma Moma's a comrade in this in this uh particular instance. Then let's go. Why are these guys so stupid? <laughs> Cause they're they're merely hired guns. Uh reminds me. Ooh, hold on. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, reminds me of the very first wish I ever made with Shenlong. Shen. 
Shenron. Oh, shit, the most comfortable pair of underwear. Thanks, uh. Thanks, pig. <laughs> what is that? Oolong? Yeah, that, that's Let's the pig's name, Oolong. Roger. Alright. Now we've dealt with them. Are we up to the next barrier. Cool. Even more. The last one. Once we get through here. Yeah. See, I'm pretty sure they hired these mercenaries off of Fiverr. That's why they're having issues. Find them. My turn. All right, Mizuki, go take the pipe. Wait, Mizuki. Oh, that idiot. Oh boy. Cool. Now she's in danger. What do we do? Date, Mizuki can't do this alone. Yeah, it's way too many. He shoot worse than Stormtrooper. Hey, wait up! Oh my God! Look at her run in. There we go. Good. Nice roundhouse kick. Now this is looking a bit better. Shooting! I can't hit for shit. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, she's a bamp. Don't test me, motherfucker. All those mercenaries went to stormtrooper school of fighting, didn't they? Yep. Yeah, nice. Good shooting. Yeah, Oda just sitting there cheering in the in the van. She's launching people. They're dead. Mizuki! Did that actually just hit him? Well, Momo got the guy, but... He was shooting. Uh, guys, I got a bad feeling about this one. Jesus Christ! We annihilated everybody! Thank you. Moma, remind me never to fuck with that small girl. Hey, Iris. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Dante! Let's get you out of here. Who took a bullet there? Somebody took a bullet. It was either me or Mizuki. Ota, mission complete. All right, got it. Get the hell out of here, dude. She's becoming the next Yakuza boss. Boss, I Moma's like I already see my successor. Hey, Pewts. Nice to see you're still around. Uh, achievement unlocked. What is that? The ironic legend of Atlantis. Excuse me. After that, we split up and booked it. Moma got behind the wheel of his vehicle. Oda took the van, and I got into my own car. Music went with Oda, and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. Shoot, putes. I... Mm, we should've. But I guess we just didn't see him. The Ikume Shrine! Date, Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. All right. Do you have any uh, funny dialogue? Good dialogue? Curious. Wash our hands and face. There's the lantern. Seen the trees. The arch. The golden arches of McDonald's. McDonald's. Stone monument. Eh, that's about it. Oh, the shrine itself. Looks rather solemn. Yeah, after everything we just went through. All right. Iris looking off into the distance. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. I'm sorry, by the way, for everything. 
During her escape, Iris got motion sickness. Decided to pull over at Ikume's shrine so she could rest. <laughs> Must be the brain tumor! Uh... Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say, but thank you. Aw, oh, she's tearing up. Mmm, all right, what did Pewter say to you? Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. All right, what about the winter iris? Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah, she's still looking at the flowers. I can't see it well. Right over there. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what Uncle taught me. The uncle again? Hmm. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Yeah, I was about to say. She probably has an attachment to, uh... Number, uh, number 89, Mr. Uncle. Do you think the of immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel I don't know if you're playing with Japanese voices. The soldiers speak English. Iris isn't lying. Oh! I experienced that with Iris' son. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. Yeah. It could be. that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Is it possible? We didn't spend that much time no, in there. There is no point in discussing this now. But we could have been affected by this. Alright, so, about this uncle. I used to love uncle. Not like, romantically. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Was at the time, and uncle was already in a relationship. Yeah, with your mother. You mean with your mom. You knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Hand games, huh? Like what? Um, like ratty cakes. Rat? What? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. How the hell does that work? Ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Interesting. Okay then. What was his real name? I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama Pick me a cake Falco. as fast as you can. Falco. Falco. Yep. All right. This is it. This is finally when we put Isn't the pieces together. Name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. That is. That is mind blowing to me. We have gone this whole time. Like, we had known... Hold on, we gotta go look at the flowchart real quick. We have known the relationship between, um... Uh, Hitomi and number 89, Falco, F, Uncle, whatever you want to call him. We've known that for so long now, us, the viewers. But it's only until now that we finally put those pieces together. I wonder what the hell this is going to change. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible... Now all the pieces fall into place. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. <laughs> I thought he was in Star Fox. What? Nope. Wrong Falco. Now you have to take the penalty. See, this is why, like, I don't really think he's a bad guy. Well, I mean, he's a bad guy, but he's not irredeemable, is the thing. 
He's an assassin, but he really fell in love with Hitomi and Iris. He he looked at her like as a daughter. So that begs the question, why the hell is he working with Renju to kidnap Iris? Does he know about her brain tumor? I mean, we don't know about her brain tumor in this route. Like, I, there's so many questions as to why exactly things are going the way they are. I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. Was it him? Or was it Renju? Date? So, guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Since when can I use music notes to ask questions? Last, uh, last week. Yeah, what? I knew it. It was Renju. It was Renju. Renju came to visit her. What was that about? He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. When did we learn about the tumor again? We learned about the tumor... Um, where, where's the, where's the line? We were learned about the tumor over here. So we, we went down this route first, and then we got, uh, plot locked. We got plot locked. Now we're over here. This is the last way we can go, I think. If I, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, because this was just one solitary path. There was no, uh, choice this way, I don't think. sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes he said come with me he seemed really desperate i couldn't say no so i got into his rental car we went somewhere i don't know where some deserted building mr okira got out of the car then grabbed my hand he tried to pull me inside i got scared i pulled my hand away and ran it was it was the warehouse wasn't it it was the- it was the fishery. Was he going to murder her? Why didn't you tell me this? Mr. Ogira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemnisgate. Hmm. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at 2 in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but you never know. <laughs> Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers or something that he found. Oh, and you sweet like child. A prank he was filming for the internet or See, something. See, that would trigger anybody's That's warning bells if somebody comes to visit you at 2 in the morning what I kept telling and tells you, come with me. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of nice. Maybe he's trying to... Kill you? Well, alright then. What did you do after you ran away? Well, I didn't go home. Oh shit, the I plot. It is thick. Back. Is it dummy I thick? I around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone too. And then at night, around 7 I think... I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. Okay. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. So, where did he take you exactly? Iris, the fishery? I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. The chemical plant? Basically, right now, we're being chased by... Nice guys. Yeah, the ni nice guys. <laughs> so we can go to that chemical plant now. All right, what happened to Renju? I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Hmm. Okay, well, we're off to the abandoned factory. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh god, this is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well, one bit. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Tuesday, 11.27 p.m. It's a Tuesday. We're off to the factory.